Hey guys, in this video we'll understand Go language package with very simple examples. So Go language context package is very efficiently handled cancellations, timeout, and passing data between Go routine. Means if suppose we have long running of some process and we wanted to be in between cancel it. Now we don't require it or due to some reason we wanted to time out it then we can use the context one time out and deadline is a very very small difference that i will show it while we are doing the program in another example as we can see we are calling api after certain condition we wanted to cancel it for example on ui we have file download button user can click on that button and download the file but file is taking some time because it need to be processed and prepare the file and give to the front end Till the time, if the user wanted to cancel, we can give some cancel button. He can cancel also these operations. So, that particular place we can use a context with cancelable. Another example is we can pass the data from one function to another function. Let's see the practical how to pass the data between the functions. To create a blank context, we can use the background functions. It will give the blank context. We can write down context dot any function name we have with value, with cancelable, with timeout, with deadline also. So, with value we need to pass the context and this is the key and this is the value of it suppose here we are calling one function that is print value in this print value function we need to be read this user id so as we can see over here we are reading the context so in the context we can set the value and we can read the value anywhere it is very useful guys sometime we need to store the tokens user id or something that we across the program we wanted to use it it's behave like in some other programming language we have sessions Okay, so over here we store the user ID and that user ID we get it. Definitely we need to typecast because this is integer value and we are printing into a string. So we'll typecast. If it does not find out, the cell statement should be executed. Let's test it. Go run main .go. We got the ID over here. Right? So this is very simple example of with value. Let's see the another example. So guys, over here we will achieve the cancelable context. As we made the last program background context, same way we can make it like a also. So within a cancelable, I can make the context background. So cancelable, we don't need to require extra parameter. We can just write down the context only. So we got a context. Now in the return, we got another variables that is cancel. This cancel, we can cancel at any time. We can write down any conditions anywhere also so to understand for example we have one go routine that is work in this go routine we will pass this context and we will define this work functions over here inside it we'll write down some logic like select statement and in the select statement we will write down the two things one this particular work will take some time suppose it will take the five second another one it might be possible we can cancel it early also okay so we'll write down the select statement select We'll write down the two case. In first case, we'll write down ctx dot done. So if ctx we cancel it at the time what we wanted to perform it. So I'm just printing the statement. In other case, suppose this work is taking two second time. So time after and it will take two seconds. In this case, we wanted to write down work is completed. So we have two cases. If you will cancel it, we can cancel it. This statement means we are canceling this one. Otherwise, actually work will be completed, right? So to simulate this process, I'm just waiting for one second time. And after one second, I'm canceling this context. And suppose main go routine is also taking three second time. So what happens? So when we execute, this go routine will be executed. And after one second, we need to wait it because we want to pretend that some work is going on. But after one second, we will actually mark it to cancel. We want to wait two seconds because this task is taking suppose two seconds to complete. But in one second itself, we will cancel it. Let's run it. Go run, cancel context. And we need to wait one second. You can see, work canceled it, right? And if you wanted to be know the reason also, or the error message, we can write on ctx dot error. So here we'll get some information. So this context is canceled, right? So this is the way, guys, we can use the with cancel. Now let's understand the timeout and deadline also. We declare earlier the context. Similar way, we will actually declare over here also timeout. So this is timeout and we have the two second timeout. So after the two second, it automatically will be canceled. We don't need to cancel it also. You can understand, suppose some go routine is taking some time. Suppose it's processing, it's doing something and we're given some timeout. After a certain time, it should be timeout automatically. So over here, we'll write down defer cancel. So defer cancel will be called when we will exit from the main function. To simulate this process, here only I'm writing down select statement. So what we wrote down? Suppose this particular select statement or some function is taking three seconds to work is completed. Or it can be canceled due to this cancel the context. If it is canceled, we can write down this message. 
okay and this is taking two second but it will take time three second to complete but we know actually this is the two second only let's run it so definitely it should be cancelled we'll write down timeout and run it so after two second it should be cancelled we can see over cancelled due to the timeout but if we exceed this one so what happened so this will be wait till four second but before that our work can be possible to complete it also so let's run it this one also we need to wait now three second you can see work is completed so guys this is the way we can use the timeout functions so now let's understand the last one deadline one as i told you timeout and deadline is very similar to this one so i'm just making the copy of this one. and in this main functions over here i need to change so in the current time we will add two seconds and it should be with deadline and one more thing here we need to change deadline also so what is the change between timeout and deadline only this is the change only and what is the meaning of this one so before I understand the meaning let's run one time guys so this is deadline and it should be cancelled so work should be cancelled why because actually we given the two second and this is taking the again the three second time right so if we given the less time so definitely it should be cancelled so meaning over here guys we given a deadline means it cannot be crossed over there so this is absolute time from the now after two seconds it should be completed otherwise it should be cancelled timeout means guys we are giving a range means from particular timeout we will make the cancel it also but over here we are giving a absolute time it means after suppose five days we need to do complete otherwise that thing will be the no longer useful for us over here because we have time means we have a range from zero to that particular time if that will be crossed definitely will be not useful also almost same we have so timeout are easier to use when we wanted to limit an operation duration from its start okay and deadline are used when you need to coordinate multiple operations finish by a specific time so this is very slightly difference between these two guys i hope you understand so guys that's it these all are example of the context api i hope you understand about the context package similar to this one we will make a more video see you in the next video till the time happy coding